because they are caught up in a character rebellion against God mm -hmm. so that this the more filthy you become in your uh, uh, persuasiveness, the more you are accepted. Yes. So uh, 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 the musician 15 cents makes millions of dollars. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> While somebody who sings a gospel song from his heart, right. he don't get a dime. Right. Amen. Not accepted. So when a program starts to leave away from God and the character is developed toward unrighteousness and sin, it, it encompasses everyone who is not taught correction. Amen. Now again, in the book of Romans, first chapter, verse 21. Because that when they knew God, they glorified Him not as God, neither were thankful. When they knew God, they didn't give Him the glory. There's no one in America that does not know or have heard about God. Yes. Have not heard or know about Jesus. Amen. And how come there are so many who claim they know Jesus, know God, and are Christians, are born again, but live like the devil? Amen. Let this mind be in you, which is also in, Hallelujah. in Christ Jesus. If you've got the mind of Christ inside of you, it's got to reflect outwardly. Nobody is going to be a homosexual that God condemned in both testaments and tell someone he's Christian. Amen. You speak what you say, but what about how you are living? Amen. Because when they knew God, they glorified him not as God, neither were thankful, but became what? Vain in their imaginations. Vain in their imagination. In other words, in their thought process. You can't think wrong. And be right. Amen. And you can't be right. And think wrong. Amen. It's impossible. You are what you think. Because that is a part of your character. If you're a nice person. It reflect. Amen. If you're an evil person. That will reflect. Amen. Now we're talking about something that God has made us. And God don't make mistakes. Amen. He made humanity. He made man and female. Made he them. Amen. And said it's good. But again, when a man wants to experience something out the ordinary, I said last week, I believe, they start out trying marijuana yes. or beer. And then they go to whiskey. Yes. <laughs> Amen. And then they go to cocaine. Yes. Then they start taking the needle mm -hmm. and injecting it in their bloodstream yes. because they're not satisfied with the high they got before. Always trying to reach up to a higher height. This is a part of character. If a person is strong in their character, you won't let anything cause you to defile your body. Anytime a person sticks a drug needle in their arm, you're flirting with that right. because you don't know what's in that. Amen. Whatever he sold you. Amen. Praise God. And you're going to run it in your bloodstream. Amen. You're going to take a pipe. And smoke it. Until you lose all sense of who you are. Amen. Praise God. Won't work. Won't try to better yourself. Amen. God made a people. To be respective of their self. Amen. But how can you respect yourself. When you don't have anything in yourself. Amen. So you don't reach and try to get a better feeling. The feeling does not come from the pipe or from drugs or from alcohol. Yeah. The feeling comes from a character that is Christ-like before the Lord. And when it reflects, it shows who the individual is. And it's up to each person to make certain decisions that you know is right. Amen. Now, I ain't never really heard of a retarded person being a drug addict. Amen. <laughs> Praise Lord. Amen. <laughs> Sometimes, you know, uh, you got to understand things. Yeah. This person who's got a lot of sense Amen. ends up being yes, a dope yes, 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 yes. right. Call it yes, Amen. But decisions that we make have to be based on a behavioral pattern. Yes. Homosexuality is learned. Yes. Drug abuse is learned. Amen. Alcoholism is learned. Yes. You practice it before you become indoctrinated into that uh, type of uh, uh, 
system or weakness of character because you've been exposed to it by someone who probably has a the more dominant personality than you yourself. But I said, when I grew up, I always was alone. I was more introverted. And I thank God for it. Because I don't let nobody influence me to do something I know is not right. And I ain't always been saved. But I knew sticking a needle in your arm wasn't right. I know robbing a bank ain't right. Hallelujah. You might get caught. Then you got to spend 20 years in prison. No, I, I can't stand to be caged right. up. Amen. <laughs> Don't fit me. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So let me try to find me a job. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Now I'm dealing with a character development. Amen. And God gives everybody who is clothed in their right mind an ability to make a choice themselves. Amen. To think that God is so weak that he can make you and then give you the freedom of choice and you decide to defy God and use your body in a way that God did not intend for you to use your body and you think God going to look the other way and say well that's alright you just weak nobody is weak unless they want to be weak I believe the Bible says that the weak say what I'm strong Hallelujah. so when we are strong in Christ Jesus we don't let outside influence come to tear us down so that we become nothing in the sight of ourselves and in each other. Now, listen close. Anybody can stumble on this journey. That's why we got mercy and repentance. There's no one here hasn't stumbled on life's journey. But what you've done, you pick yourself back up. You took a look at yourself. Say, uh, this ain't me. Throwing that bottle down. I'm getting rid of that cigarette pack. Yeah. Praise God. I'm going to church. Yeah. And I'm going to find me a holiness church. I ain't going to find no con artist church. Yeah. There's after money all the time. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. And you two, you need to listen to me. Anytime you go to a church where the pastor's a millionaire mm -hmm. and you ain't, and he's asking you for money. Amen. Hallelujah. people can't see that. Yeah. Why can't yeah. people see that? Yeah. Pastor's driving a new car and your car is barely making it but he's asking you for money. <laughs> he lives in a seven, eight hundred thousand dollar home yes. and you live in a two bedroom apartment Amen. but he's asking you for money. <laughs> and you foolish enough to give him. Amen. Not only is something wrong with that pastor, but there's something wrong with you. Yes. Yes. I'm going back to my text. Romans. <laughs> right. Verse 22. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Uh huh. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God into an image made like to corruptible man. Uh huh. And to birds and four footed beasts and creeping things. Wherefore. God also gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies between themselves. I want everyone to see verse 24. God gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own inner being. Yes. To dishonor their own body. How many know what dishonor is? Amen. Dishonor is opposite from honor. And everybody know what honor is. Someone respected. Mm -hmm. In other words, God's saying you dishonor your body because you don't respect yourself yes. if you're going to be a homosexual. Amen. If you're going to be a lesbian. Mm -hmm. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Wherefore God gave them up to uncleanness through the lust of their own hearts to dishonor their own bodies. What? Between themselves. Between themselves. Read. Who changed the truth of God into a lie. Who changed the truth of God. In other words, God made you a man. But you say, no, I'm a woman. God made you a woman. You say, no, no, I'm a man. And I said before, and I'm going to say again. A man goes out and gets an operation and gets castrated and takes a few male hormones. That ain't going to make you a woman. 
that makes you 